foreign masses of mystery floating around in space. Something we've always had questions about but zero answers. But that's finally changed. Join us in this video as we get you up to date with what scientists have just announced about what they've discovered inside a black hole. And well, this one's about to get crazy. The first black hole started in 1916 with Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. He was the first person to predict that they even existed, although the official name black hole came around 50 years later. While there were some scientists who believed Einstein's theory, others were dismissive of it until Cygnus X1 was found in the late 1960s while studying the Cygnus constellation, the researchers noticed an oddly bright blue star that was emitting X-rays. And it wasn't a stagnant star, it was going around a giant black something upon further research. It was found that the X-rays were just moving around on their own, they were being sucked into the black thing they were orbiting. Whatever the entity was, it was strong, and it was consuming everything around it. That's when science officially had proof that black holes actually existed. But little did they know that things were about to get a lot crazier. The one discovery of Cygnus X1 spiraled into a bunch of others before long it was found that there may be close to 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone. But because they're so incredibly hard to detect, we still don't have a 100% certain number, but from the looks of it, it's in the several million which is what makes them even more important to study. According to most physicists around the world, a black hole is an entity where anything that enters it compresses down astronomically until it becomes a singularity. In simpler words, they've explained that because of the way black holes work, if someone was to fall into one, they get stretched into the shape of spaghetti. Slowly dying before the final spaghetti form sets in, but still that's one of the scariest parts about the research that's gone into black holes, and also what makes everyone want to know all the details possible, even though the closest black hole to Earth is W500L years away, this information still begs the question, can black holes swallow the whole Earth? In 2021, scientists were able to release the first clear photograph of a black hole. M87 the black hole was photographed several nights in a row and with each photograph the researchers gathered more and more evidence about it and with it they were able to figure out that there are three layers to a black hole it's not just one single gaping hole of nothingness to even get to the nothingness parts you have to make it to the first two layers. Let's break it down at first you have the outer and inner event horizon and then the singularity there's a boundary around the mouth of each black hole that's what they've named the outer event horizon if anything makes it to this point of the black hole it's not leaving it's going to either stay there or get pushed deeper to the inner layer on its way to the singularity. That's because gravity is strong throughout the event horizons and constant so once something is in there it literally can't leave for something to make it out of there it would have to travel much faster than the speed of light itself something that has thus far proven impossible we might take the gravity on earth for granted but if it were any different we wouldn't be able to survive the way that we do after the event horizon we have the black hole's main big bad the singularity this is the point where most of the entire thing's mass is even though the entire black hole is to be avoided the singularity is the point where everything is compressed down to a single particle becoming essentially nothing. Physics doesn't function inside black holes the way it does on Earth or most of the space we've explored it's totally different no rules apply it's all chaos. What's even worse is that each black hole is different one can have a totally different gravitational pool than the other so you could potentially know everything about one black hole then have to start from scratch when you start looking into another now the problem is that scientists can't really study black holes the way they do stars or other planets they study them by looking into the radiation black holes emit along with the dust and gas that is around them. You can't really send something like the Voyager inside the black hole either because as we've already established they just get trapped in the event horizons and get crushed into nothingness when they make it to the singularity. So we're basically left with no option but to study these massively powerful phenomena in space that are 3D when you are close to them in a 2D way you can only get as close to an image as possible before your camera will become one with the black hole. But that also brings us back to the concepts of physics breaking down and every black hole being different. The thing is we haven't really been able to head inside to where the singularity even is to really figure out what it is because as we've established that's basically an impossible because we can't travel faster than the speed of light. But that doesn't mean that the scientists that have been studying these giant masses of my don't have theories of their own. They do lots of them theories. About black holes, let's go over some of the most plausible theories about what scientists think is inside the black hole apart from the singularity. The biggest theory is that it is possible that the movie Interstellar was onto something after all the black holes aren't just masses of nothingness but beyond the event horizons and the beginning of the singularity could be a gate. Of course, we don't mean an average gate to a home here. We're talking about, about traveling between galaxies and 
universes it's possible that black holes are a glitch in the matrix and if we can somehow create technology that will be able to travel faster than the speed of light we could make our way through one of these inside it's possible that the singularity isn't just the nothingness we know about but a wormhole to another galaxy beyond a shortcut to interstellar travel that we never even thought was possible that isn't as impossible as it once seemed it could very well be the truth if it is it means that we're not just limited to learning about the planets within our solar system, we could also be looking at coming up with ways to make it through these black holes into the galaxies they lead to on the total opposite spectrum of theories. We have the one that totally renounces their entire existence. Well, kind of Enrio Rinaldi is a scientist based in Tokyo, and with his team, he's been trying to make sense of black holes regardless of how crazy they may seem, and well, he's come up with a simple theory that just explains all the madness he says they're simply holograms now holograms as we know them are holographic images that are created through technology but not all holograms are equal any visual discrepancy a mirage of swords can be a hologram too and when we're talking about the abyss that is space anything is possible let's get into the specifics here for a second so rinaldi and his team began by drawing parallels to some of the most common theories about black holes in physics and realized that they were all simply too different for either of them to be true so he decided to figure it all out or at least attempt to using quantum matrix models it is what he specializes in so while the subject at hand is literally something no one knows a lot about at least the methods he was using he was 100% sure about with that he's come up with a theory of holographic duality using the theory of particles and the theory of gravity Raldi and his team ran a bunch of different kinds of tests they've come to the conclusion that to figure out what's going on inside a black hole you know a place where literally no one can go into you have to treat the entire thing like a hologram take the images of black holes we've got so far and project them in 3d form with that you can get a much clearer and easier to understand view of what's at hand here according to them Black holes have always operated in the third dimension, and instead of their insides being the key to figuring them out, you need to look on the outside. Remember those dust particles and gases we talked about earlier in the video that's coming back in here space and time that are outside the black hole are moving from inside. It sounds confusing, but in simpler words, the black hole doesn't just affect what's going on inside the singularity or the wormhole, but also the space it occupies everything that surrounds it is part of the equation it all comes together to power this big bad and makes it what it is instead of being focused on a singular point where all matter compresses we should be looking at the possibility of a moving black hole something of a ring that's just swallowing things whole and getting more and more powerful as it does that may also mean that the possibility of one of them moving near planets like the earth to swallow it whole isn't really that far-fetched because of the recent developments in the studies about black hole scientists are now closer than ever before to fully understanding them while we now know that deep inside black holes is the singularity where nothing may survive chances are more research into them by might literally open up brand new worlds or should we say galaxies that we've never even expected black holes those enigmatic entities of cosmic proportions continue to captivate and challenge our understanding of the universe emerging from the intricate interplay of gravity mass and space-time these celestial bodies are not only fascinating but also pivotal to our comprehension of astrophysics and the cosmos at large. The concept of a black hole begins with Albert Einstein's revolutionary theory of general relativity, published in 1915. Einstein's equations predicted the existence of objects where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape, a point where the curvature of spacetime becomes infinite, known as a singularity. This theoretical prediction lay dormant until the discovery of Cygnus X, one in the late 1960s. A powerful X-ray source orbiting an invisible companion. Strong evidence for a black hole. Understanding the anatomy of a black hole is crucial. It consists of three primary regions. The outer and inner event horizons and the singularity. The event horizon, often referred to as the point of no return, marks the boundary beyond which nothing can escape the gravitational pull of the black hole. Inside the event horizon lies the singularity, a point where gravity crushes matter to infinite density, rendering our current understanding of physics inadequate to describe it. This concentration of mass in an infinitesimal point challenges our understanding of the fundamental laws of nature. The study of black holes has advanced significantly with technological innovations such as the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT which captured the first ever image of a black hole's shadow in 2019. The image of the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy M87, located 55 million light-years from Earth, provided empirical evidence validating decades of theoretical work. It revealed a bright ring formed by the bending of light around the black hole, a direct observation of its event horizon. One of the most intriguing aspects of black holes is their potential role as portals in spacetime. While the singularity itself remains an impenetrable mystery, 
Some theoretical physicists speculate that black holes could connect distant regions of the universe through wormholes. These hypothetical shortcuts in space-time, also known as Einstein-Rosen bridges, theoretically allow for instantaneous travel between two separate points. However, traversing a wormhole requires exotic matter with negative energy density, a substance that has not been observed and may violate known physical principles. Another captivating theory posits that black holes could be cosmic holograms, a concept inspired by the holographic principle in theoretical physics. According to this principle, the information within a three-dimensional volume can be encoded on a two-dimensional surface surrounding it. Applying this idea to black holes suggests that all the information contained within a black hole's volume could be projected onto its event horizon, challenging the conventional view of black holes as purely gravitational entities. Recent theoretical developments also explore the possibility that black holes could be the source of dark matter, a mysterious form of matter that constitutes a significant portion of the universe's mass. Dark matter does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, making it invisible and detectable only through its gravitational effects on visible matter and light. Some physicists propose that primordial black holes formed in the early universe could account for dark matter's gravitational influence, although this hypothesis remains speculative and requires further observational evidence. The study of black holes extends beyond astrophysics into broader implications for our understanding of the cosmos. These cosmic giants influence the formation and evolution of galaxies, as their gravitational pull can disrupt neighboring stars and planetary systems. Understanding their behavior is essential for predicting the long-term dynamics of galaxies and the distribution of matter in the universe. In addition to their gravitational effects, black holes are also prolific sources of energy and radiation. As matter spirals into a black hole's accretion disk, it heats up and emits vast amounts of energy across the electromagnetic spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. This phenomenon, known as active galactic nuclei, AGN, powers some of the brightest objects in the universe, illuminating the complex interplay between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies. The discovery of gravitational waves in 2015 provided another revolutionary tool for studying black holes. Gravitational waves are ripples in spacetime caused by cataclysmic events such as the merger of two black holes. By detecting these waves, scientists can infer the properties of the colliding black holes, including their masses, spins, and distances. This observational breakthrough marked the beginning of gravitational wave astronomy, opening a new window into the universe's most extreme phenomena. Exploring black holes also challenges our understanding of quantum mechanics and the nature of information in the universe. The phenomenon known as Hawking radiation, proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking in 1974, suggests that black holes can emit radiation and slowly evaporate over time. This paradoxical concept implies that information about matter falling into a black hole could be lost, a violation of the fundamental principle of quantum mechanics that information is always conserved. As our technological capabilities continue to advance, so too does our ability to probe the mysteries of black holes. Future missions and observatories, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, promise to further enhance our understanding of these enigmatic objects. These missions will investigate a wide range of cosmic phenomena, from the formation of the first black holes in the early universe to the dynamics of black hole mergers and their role in shaping galactic evolution. In conclusion, black holes represent one of the most intriguing and profound mysteries of the cosmos. From their theoretical origins in Einstein's equations to their empirical validation through advanced telescopes and gravitational wave detectors, black holes continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of space, time, and the fundamental laws of physics. As we embark on future explorations and discoveries, the study of black holes promises to unveil new insights into the nature of the universe and our place within it.